You're listening to 7-Minute Stories with Aaron Califato. This is Season 3. You wake up in the morning, you can feel it. It's cold colder than usual. And you think to yourself, did I adjust the heat last night? Hell, did someone turn off the heat? You start looking for your slippers and you realize you don't have slippers. You should have got some. So you put your cold feet on the wood floor and you need to tiptoe upstairs and you got to look outside. You got to assess the situation. You kind of wrap yourself in your own arms and you're wondering, where's that robe I got for Christmas? I should probably be wearing that this morning. As you tiptoe upstairs, you go over to the coffee maker first because you got to fuel up. So you get the coffee dripping. Then you make your way over to the window and you open up the shades. And when you do, you have to turn your head and squint because the light is so bright. Now, this isn't just from the sun. In fact, there isn't really any direct sun. There hasn't been any direct sun in weeks. There is sun, though, and it's coming through the overcast clouds. And what's happening is, is it's bouncing off of all the snow that fell overnight. Now, when you see this, something awakens in you a little bit. There's a little bit of dread, but there's a lot of excitement. What are you, eight years old again? Yeah, you're eight years old. What is this, a snow day? Maybe you'll make it one. You start thinking about sleds, tall hills, dangerous obstacles. You start thinking about snowmen. You start thinking about hot cocoa. You're thinking about the coffee you're going to enjoy, but maybe midday there's some Swiss Miss in the cupboard, some mini marshmallows. Make it piping hot. You start thinking about all the fun things that you can do. Maybe getting in a snowsuit and rolling around out there, making some snow angels. But what hits you is that you are a little older now. Some would call you an adult. And you should probably shovel the driveway. Now, when you look outside after your eyes adjust, you see the men of the neighborhood with their high-powered winter machinery. They got snow blowers. They got industrial size snow shovels. And you, well, you have a plastic shovel in the garage. Now, you're kicking yourself because you said to yourself last winter, self, you got to get a better snow shovel. So you did upgrade to a higher quality plastic but you knew you did it on the cheap. And you look outside and you can tell with this snow, it's really not going to do the trick. Or if it is, it's going to take you hours. But you have to do it. That's what we do here in the gateway to the Midwest. We endure winter times in Northeast Ohio. We endure them not just for one month, but sometimes for four months from January to April. It's what makes us different. So you get your snowsuit on and you get your nice warm wool socks on. See, as you've gotten older, you've learned a few things. Back in the day when you were a little bit poorer, let's be honest, a lot poorer, you put on holy socks. And I'm not talking about religious holy. We're talking literal holes in the socks. (laughs) You put on some really crappy boots and some dingy jeans And you went out into the wintertime not dressed appropriately. And you always wondered why you were cold. It's because you weren't prepared to endure winter. But now as you've gotten older, you've learned. See, back in the day, you would wear those holy socks and you would put plastic bags over those socks and tie it. Then slip your foot into the bad boot to create a layer 
between the bad boot, the holes in the socks, the snow and the ice and your foot. And it worked sometimes, but it also looked ridiculous, not just to the neighbors walking by, but to yourself. You were ashamed. So now you got your nice warm wool socks. You get a higher quality boot. You've been blessed in the last few years with your work and you've invested in preparing for the winter time because it's time to go out and shovel. Now, when you walk outside, you walk out in your snowsuit, you wave hi to all the neighbors and you could tell they're a little disappointed in your machinery, but you go out and you decide to show your strength. Yeah, it's going to take you two and a half hours to shovel that driveway, but you're going to do it and you're going to be in better shape because of it. And you do. And the time flies by. The air is so cool and crisp when you breathe it in and breathe it out. Some things that you notice. You notice how quiet it is outside. That all the sound has essentially disappeared. You don't hear birds. You don't hear animals or crickets or insects. Just the quiet sound of cutting wind across leafless branches. Maybe a distant car or a snowplow. And just your neighbors moving about. Now that you're done, don't forget about that hot cocoa. Your beautiful significant asks you if you want to come in and enjoy it while you get warm. And you think about it for a second, but then you say, no thanks. I'm going to take that hot cocoa to go. And I'm going to take a walk out into the wilderness. And she says, wilderness. And then you say, well, just a few blocks away, out to your favorite field next to a park. She smiles. You give her a kiss on the cheek. And you're off, still with the snowsuit, trudging through the snow, no one outside. Everyone, as we say, hunkering down in their homes. You could see the smoke from the chimney as people stay warm inside. It's definitely wintertime. And the sun is almost gone, what's left of it. It goes down so early these days, and you want to catch the last bit of light. And as you eventually walk and make it to the field, you just stand there in isolation, and you like to watch your breath go in and out. It always looked cool to you as a kid and now. But one thought worries you. This winter and this snowy day is actually very rare. Because usually you get four months of this, but this winter, you've only had a couple of days. Otherwise, it's been very warm. And while you like that, and while it's more pleasant, you get a little nervous and ask yourself, what's really causing all this? And if it's something to do with the whole world warming up, what would it be like in the winter with no snow. This makes you a little sad. But don't worry. Right around the corner is a whole new season for you to think about it. Spring is near. Seven Minute Stories is created and performed by Aaron Califato. Our senior audio engineer is Ken Went. Our resident artist is Pete Whitehead. Original music by TJ Duke. If you or your company needs help starting a podcast, Aaron and Ken's company, Valley View, does just that. Reach out to them at valleyview.fm. Special thanks to our partners at Evergreen Podcasts, and I'm Corey Burse. Make sure to tune in next week for another story.